Hello everyone. Um, I'm making this video to show my projects or whips. I already made a video of this, but unfortunately it was deleted, so I apologize if you've already seen this. The first whip that I have is called On the Terrace. It's a Renoir painting. I have a lot of it finished, but you can see that I still have quite a bit left to stitch. The second is a young girl reading. I don't have that much finished on this one. The third is called Butterflies. Get that in there. By Jessica Wilcox Smith. I purchased this from Pinoy Stitch. They have lovely designs and I believe the patterns are no more than four dollars for the downloads. I'm almost finished with this one. Just have the butterflies and the some of the little girl to finish. The next few designs are from Belle and Boo designs. I have six that I'm going to frame as a group. Currently I am working on four of them. I got these from the British magazine cross stitcher. This is the first one. I don't remember the names of the projects. This is the second one. This is the third. The next design I already made a short, I believe it was 30 second video on it. This is from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It's a calendar, but I think I'm just going to leave off the year when I frame it. Really enjoyed this one, it's, it's quite cute. This small one here is Little Red Riding Hood. Um, it's going to be a part of a baby shower gift. I'm almost finished with this one. The next one is called In Disgrace. I stitched it so that I could hang it on the wall of my two girls room. It's almost finished. I have a little bit of the background to finish. It matches one of the pictures in the border of their room. This one is the girl with the pearl earring. I didn't want to stitch all the black that was called for so I used black eight of cloth. It's hard to see but it definitely saved me hours of stitching. This may be a wedding present. I haven't decided yet. Um, I would have loved to have gotten something like this as a present, but not everyone would, so I don't know what I'm, I don't know if I'm going to give it as a present yet. The next is Book Spines. I believe her username is Lovely Array. She had this finished piece on her YouTube channel, which inspired me, so I started this a couple weeks ago. I have a lot of whips because I get bored easily. I love to stitch, but I usually stitch on a project for a while and then rotate it with something else. It works for me. Um, I do, this is the only finished project that I have. I finished, it's, I believe it's called Victorian Shelf. I finished it almost 20 years ago. This is called Chateau, I believe that's the name of it. Um, I have a lot of projects or completed works, 
but unfortunately I can't show you those because my husband and I remodeled our home, or I should say had wood floors put throughout the whole house, and everything was removed from the house and temporarily stored. The Rubbermaid container that the finished pieces were in went missing. It's still not been located, and I'm really disappointed about that. I should have framed them, and I would still have them. This project here, um, when remodeling, the chart went missing. When I feel like it, I will have to order it, but at the moment, or to order another chart, but at the moment, I don't feel like it. I believe the cheapest I found it was $29 for the whole kit, so it's going to be a while. I also had a large heaven and earth design. Raven's treasure also went missing. I'm particularly disappointed about that because I spent many hours stitching it and I love the design. This is a picture of it. It was quite lovely. I hope it's found as well. Um, I have another heaven and earth design that I am have worked on as well. I have a few hours stitching in that, but it's not, you can't really tell what it is, so I didn't show it. Um, it's called, this is the, the picture of it, Boreas, I'm guessing at the pronunciation. Um, after I finish the Bell and Boo designs, 